Hey guys, welcome back to another Game Dev Tycoon video. Last time when we left off, we had a very bad streak of games, and we were supporting the female rights in the gaming industry. We had Battle for the Thrawn, uh, it's doing moderately okay in sales. Phil just completed researching AI companions. So, without further ado, maybe we should make a new custom engine. Alright. 3D Graphics V3, Stereo Sound, anything really new to the table? Alright, so we have two things that are new to the table. Maybe we should wait a little while, possibly, I don't, I don't feel like wasting $520,000 just to make a, a slightly different uh, game engine. So yeah, we're going to hold off, me and Hector going to make a new game, it's going to be Mature, it's going to be a fantasy fantasy let's go RPG again fantasy RPG for the PC it's climatic 4.0 alright and this fantasy RPG will be called hmm, the ragged flagon oh oh no I think that's how you spell it Alright, 3D Graphics V2, put this down here, alright, stores and quests all the way up, engine, not so much, we want the gameplay to be at 100%, maybe we'll put, bring stores and quests down a little bit, alright, the Ragged Flagon, we're good. Shout out to uh, an Alposaurus for the reference uh, for this title. Alright, in a sobering announcement, Vayna has today confirmed the discontinuation of the Dreamvast. Vayna's president said that while many companies will still deliver games for the platform, the company will no longer produce new units in the future. Vayna fans worldwide are disappointed as a beloved part of the gaming console history is coming to an end. Alright. So Phil, just pumping out ideas. Hector, is a little bit slow, all he's doing is contributing bugs and well research is nice battle for the Thrawn is now off the market it sold 75,646 units generating half a million dollars in sales all right it's not too shabby but it's not good either all right so RPG we want dialogues all the way up there AI not as important and level design maybe a little bit higher all right dev stage 2 starting it up Marketing fifty thousand dollars for advertisements in game in magazines. Building some hype. All right, that's good. Maybe graphics just a tad bit higher and sound just a tad bit lower. Okay. While Phil is just pumping out ideas, Hector's slowly lagging behind a little bit, but I think he is getting a little bit better at uh, his newfound job. So, forty-four design and thirty-five technology. Big gap there of nine, but we have a new design record, so it's fine. Stories and quests and dialogues so reach level five. 3D graphics v2 reach level five, and Hector is now level two, which is unfortunate because now I have to pay more for him. But luckily now, he will contribute more to the games, and we can research advanced cutscenes, which would be good for our next game engine. All right, the first reviews came in for the Ragged Flagon. Oh, right. saw some tens in there. Alright, it was a beautiful game. Nice. It was a nice experience. They achieved a great balance between technology and design. And it was an overall good game. Alright. So, 5.4 million in the bank. How much will we make on the first week? 23,000 sales in the first week. Alright, not too bad, not too bad. In two months, the play system will be taken off the market. Okay. Let's find a publishing deal. Can we do any of these yet? Any topic and any genre. A minimum score of four. But the royalties are not that good. But still, uh, published games, they get you a lot of sales very quickly. But since we just made a game, I'm going to wait a while. And then I'm going to send Hector on vacation. So that he is ready for the new whatchamacallit, the new uh, publishing deal we're gonna do, alright? 
Uh, I don't think we're quite ready for that. No. Definitely not that. Jesus, 56. Um. Alright, no contracts. We'll just make him research. No, actually, maybe we'll make him train. Should we train him? Game design for pirates? Alright, we'll use the five research points just to bring his design up a little bit. Even though he's a technology expert, his design is still just atrocious. And the game design for pirates will bring up technology slightly as well. So, you can start doing that. Phil, maybe you should research something. Um, Easter eggs might be nice. People like Easter eggs. New topic, possibly. Maybe we can make a spy game or a pirate game. And we're going to save our research points for something important. Alright. Making some money off the Ragged Flagon. It's doing a lot better than Game for the Thrawn. Hector is getting a lot more design. Today, Ninvento announced the new Ninvento Game Sphere, with which it will try to complete the Vonies Market Leading Play System 2 and Mirkonov Strong Alternative, the M Box. The curiously shaped console has a similar hardware specifications as other consoles. I, I can't imagine never getting a game console that looks like that. The Game Sphere is Ninvento's first console to have an optical disk drive instead of cartridges. However, instead of using full size CD and DVDs like its competitors, the console features a mini DVD drive. Game Sphere will start rolling into stores next month. Heh, <laughs> rolling. Play on words. Alright, Hector. He's getting a lot more design and slightly more technology. Alright, good. We did that. Now. Contract work. We can try doing this now that uh, we upped his uh, his skills a little bit. But I'm gonna do this just to make him tire out, and I can send him on vacation. Because unfortunately, you can't send someone on a vacation at any point. The play system is no longer supported. Okay. It seems that the market responds to particular the market responds particularly well to new games with new topics at the moment. Okay. Come on, Hector, you're going to have to contribute if we want to do this. The Ragged Flagon is now off the market. It sold 104,484 units, generating $731,430 in sales. Okay. I don't think we're going to do this one, no. Yeah, not enough time left and Hector isn't contributing enough. Today, the new platform game series by Bind Invento has been released. Okay. Oh, we actually did it. Nice. Alright, you just got a free $33,000. And Hector, you're still not tired. What's wrong with you? Quite possibly do another contract. No, we're not going to be able to do any of these. Just, it's just impossible. Um, why not? We'll go to G3. We'll start the publishing deal. And if it needs be, we won't send Hector on vacation as soon as possible. Alright, so we'll do that. Find publishing deal. Um. Oh, it changed now. Crap. Ah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. A racing strategy game? No. Wild West strategy. Any topic in action. Minimum score has to be 6. Royalties is 10%, but it has to be for the Dream Vest, and we have no license for that, so. Uh. Alright, we're gonna do the racing strategy game, and if our penalty is $165,000, so be it. Hopefully, uh, we will make a lot more money than that, and we're gonna get $75,000 up front for just accepting this. So, we have $6 million in the bank, it's a medium game. It's going to be a racing strategy game for the PC, Slimatic 4.0. Alright, a racing strategy game. I don't think I've ever heard of a racing strategy game before. Uh, let's just call this... Uh, Morio. Uh, Morio Kart. Yeah, completely original. Alright, 3D Graphics V2, start development. And we are just dipping into the funds. No contribution from Hector again. 
so useless. Creating larger games is a significant task, and unlike in small games, one person cannot effectively be responsible for every aspect of a game. To create a good game and to make best use of your team, you will have to assign which of your team is responsible for which areas. Pick team members whose skills match the area to get the best result. When you assign a team member responsibilities, you will see their workload. Try not to overload them too much. Okay. So as you can see here, we need to drag staff over into the different sections and their percent percentage bar shows how overworked they are going to be. And we really, I think we get an achievement if you can make a medium game or something without overworking anyone, but I've never actually done that before because unfortunately I never knew about it. But so stories and quests, we can take out branching stories, don't need to pay that much for it. Uh, we can keep all that in gameplay, probably. Do we need? Do we really need character progression? I guess so. All right. So stories and quests gonna be all the way down. Uh, gameplay all the way up, and engine is gonna be okay. All right. So Phil, he is our design guy, but he still has a really good technology, a lot better than Hector. But since we need him for design, uh, let's send him on to gameplay. Should we put him on engine as well since his technology is so good? Alright, yeah, so we're going to do that and he's already at 90%, so he's already almost about to get overworked. And we'll send Hector with 10% on stories and quests. Hector, we're leaving it easy on you. Phil, he's going to take the heavy burden. Okay. And as I predicted, I'm going to send him on vacation really quick so he's only out for like 5 seconds. Boss, it seems that like quite a few players use illegal copies of the Ragged Flagon. I've managed to identify some of them. We could either sue them to defend our copyright or send them warnings to ask them to stop. What do you want to do? Let's warn them first. We don't want to don't want to offend too many people right away. Hector, you better get back quick because this is a medium game and Phil's doing it by himself. All right. So it's a strategy game. So AI would need to be through the roof. Dialogues. Minuscule, level design, okay. So we're gonna send Hector on the AI, and then we're going to also put him on dialogues. No, we're also gonna send him on, no, yeah, dialogue. We need Phil on level design. All right, so Phil, he's starting to get overworked. He has 124%, so obviously we're not gonna be able to do this, but I want the best to go into the right categories so that this game comes out as good as it can be, okay. All right, G3 convention. How many people are gonna visit us? That, that was a big jump, Jesus. All right, so 103,901 people visit our booth to see Mario Kart. Nice, obviously we didn't make the top 100 booths. Come on, Hector, all right, Hector is back. You better start contributing soon. Let's market this game as well. We want everyone to be super excited for this game. Sly Deathman Inc. has recently sent warnings to several players using illegal copies of their game The Ragged Flagon. Piracy is an increasingly big problem in the industry. Some companies invest a lot of money and effort to fight piracy while others argue that it's better to take a more relaxed approach and invest in better games instead. We have gained 299 fans. Alright, that's good. So Hector, he's really been contributing to the research, I don't really know why. Rumors are spreading that Ninvento is working on a new game console. Most of the rumors state that it is not a successor to the somewhat disappointing game sphere, but instead a new console in, a mo in the mobile market. Ninvento's gameling has been leading the mobile market thanks to numerous updates and a large list of very popular games available on the platform. But the hardware is aging quickly and many players wonder what will be next. Okay. So. It's a strategy game, so world design all the way up. We are going to put the graphics and sound down a lot just because we don't want to overwork everyone. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to put Hector on world design because look what happens if I'm going to put him there. 174%. He's way too overworked. Going to have to put him there. And Hector, he is even more overworked than Phil is. Then Phil is just going to have to take over on that. And we'll send Hector on sound. So, they're very overworked, it's very tiring for them. 
but hopefully the game will be worth it and we'll get a lot of money from this to help us get on our feet. Again, Hector only contributing to research, you bastard. But, the research points are very helpful. Iron out those few bugs. Our design and technology are just atrocious, but they're very close up. Exactly the same. No new records, not even close. Uh, we did not level up in any aspect, but hopefully we get, I think we had to reach a minimum of 5, so hopefully this gets better than 5. And it's a flop. We absolutely failed. Star Game Star was a waste of time. Informed Gamer thought it was disappointing. Game here we just thought it was absolutely horrible and bad. And we got a 1 from all games, and we should have focused more on technology. Well, we would have if Hector wasn't sitting there just drinking coffee and scratching his head like a bastard. But look how many sales we're getting. Look at that. 171,000 sales in the first week. And it got a 1. Okay? That's the point of publishing. It doesn't matter that uh, we have the penalty of, what was it, like 160,000 or something like that. We're going to make so much money off of this game. 165 contract penalty, but we're going to make a lot of money off of this, hopefully. Alright, the money. Eh. Starting to roll in. Not that much, though. We're actually starting to lose money. Alright. Let us... Is there any other publishing deals we can do? Hmm. No, let's not do that. Let's just develop a new game on our own. Topic, let's make it sci-fi. Gonna make a sci-fi adventure game for the PC. Slimatic 4.0. The game will be called a sci-fi adventure. Let's call this... Uh... Hmm. Sci-fi, so... Alien... Uh, alien... Conception, yes. Yes, perfect. Alien Conception. Oh, go back. I'm gonna make this for everyone. It's gonna have a lot of mature content in there. 3D Graphics V2, start development. Alright, so it's an adventure, so some stories and quests in there. Should we have a branching story? Yeah, why not? Alright. Um, everything else can stay the same. Hector, come on, you really need to contribute. I'm getting sick of this. Alright, there we go. Dialogues, somewhat. AI, not so much. And level design through the roof. Okay. Alright, Hector's contributing a little bit. And we already have more design and technology than the published game. I don't know why that happened. Alright, so we want sound and graphics to be better. And world design doesn't have to be that good. Alright. So, Hector actually contributing for once, but he's contributing a lot of bugs as well. So, let's iron these out. Make a little bit more design and technology. Mainly technology, so we can even it out. Good job. There we go. With that last bug. Finished. Technology goes in. Difference of two. Pretty good. Didn't break any records, though. Level design is now level 6, that's very good. Release the game to the public. Morio Kart, now off the market, sold 576,820 units, but it still only generated just above half a million dollars in sales. We could have done better. Seems that the market normalized. Alright, and we can research mini games. Hopefully, we'll make money off of this. Alien Conception. And it's another flop. I don't know, what is going on here? Sci-fi and adventure is a great combination. We really just need to make that new game engine. We need to put all of our money into an amazing engine. And just go all for it and make a sequel to one of our good games like Fable 2. And hopefully that will just roll, make us roll in cash. Alright, so 3D Graphics V3. Actually, no. Let's research some more stuff. So, let's have... 
a soundtrack, start research, and you will research advanced cutscenes. We want some really good cutscenes in there to just draw people in like it's a movie or something. So, still making some bucks off of Alien Conception. Making a lot more weekly sales than we did with, uh, what's it called? I already forgot the name of it. Mario Kart, there we go. Today, Ninvento has announced a new mobile device, a new mobile console called the Ninten Ninvento, not Nintendo, what the hell is a Nintendo? Ninvento GS. It features two screens, one of them touch sensitive, and promises unique gameplay. While Ninvento has been struggling to regain their market lead ever since the TES-64, they still have a very strong position on the mobile market. The Ninvento GS promises to strengthen this position and aims to breathe life into a stagnating mobile market. The console will be in stores next month. Okay. Alright, today Vony has announced that they are launching a new mobile gaming console called Portable Play System, or PPS for short. Later this year, media analysts speculate that this announcement is meant to distract users from Ninvento's launch of the Ninvento GS. While the Ninvento GS utilizes an innovative dual screen, the PPS instead makes use of a single screen and will focus on giving developers access to much more powerful hardware. Okay, so we research those. New game engine, 3D graphics v3, soundtrack, Advanced cutscenes, so take simple cutscenes out of there. And dialogue tree. AI companions. So $590,000 are going into this. So we're going to be in $4 million. It's going to be the Slimatic 5.0. Skip right over 4.5. And I always do that. I don't know why. No. Why isn't it going back? <sighs> there you go. Slimatic 5.0. Create the engine. $4.8 million in the bank. And if we keep going like this, sooner or later we're going to go bankrupt, and that is not good at all. We need to make a really good RPG or something, because that seems to be our strong suit. And if all else fails, we're just going to need to make a streak of really crappy strategy games just to pick our money back up. And the cost of that, we're probably going to lose a lot of fans if we're, we have to do that. Alien Conception is now off the market. It sold 91,266 copies, generating $638,897 in sales. So it already did better than our other games that we did with the publishing deal. So that was just a horrible publishing deal. We agree to. Alright. About halfway done with the Slimatic 5.0. Um. Alright. I think we can just make it to G3. I think we can just start making a game. So let's spend 80000 for a booth. Hopefully they'll pick up the pace and finish in time. I think it starts month six, sometimes in that week. I hope we're able to make it. I need to be quick as a gun, just to tap this so that nothing happens. Hurry. Oh, we didn't make it. Alien Conception is still being displayed, but it's off the market, so it's pointless. Crap. Just wasted $80,000. God damn it. It's fine. Still have to market this game. And hopefully it will be a really good sequel game. Alright, develop sequel to. Hmm. Fable 2. Obviously, we will call this Fable 3. Medieval RPG for the PC, Slimatic 5.0, next, 3D Graphics V3, start development, and they didn't put anything in there, these lazy ass guys, stories and quests, through the roof, uh, steering wheel, get out of there, we don't need you, 
Alright. So, gameplay. Engine, you go down a lot. Could want everything in the 100%. Uh, engine down a little bit more. Oh, no. Alright. Want to put as much stories and quests in there as possible. We also want to focus on the engine as well, though we don't want to disappoint too many people. Alright, so we'll keep it at that. In two months, the Dream Vest will be taken off the market. Okay. Generating some hype with this. And Hector, of course, losing his efficiency. But we're going to have to finish this game before I send him on vacation. I need him for this. Dialogues through the roof. AI, not so much. And level design can go down a little bit. But we will put AI companions and dialogues in there. So let's increase that. Lower dialogues slightly. Uh, increase that, increase that, maybe lower this a little bit more, just so I can lower that a little bit more. I want to make this like absolutely perfect. No, we still need lots of dialogue. Alright, you're gonna have to go down, you're gonna have to go up. Alright. So Phil, as usual, pumping out ideas, Hector lagging behind. We need soundtrack. Alright. So we want some more sound for this. And we'll put some more world design in there, but also some more graphic. Because 3D graphics B3 now. Alright. So 14 bugs we need to iron out. Lots of design, lots of technology, but there's a big gap in between them. Difference of eight. All right, seven. Finish. New records in each. That's fantastic. Gameplay is at level six. World design is at level six. And Phil Robertson is almost at level six. Release the game to the public. The Dream Vest is no longer supported. And we can research achievements and a virtual economy. Hector, you're going to go on vacation, even though you don't really deserve it. Oh my god, the first reviews came in. Fable 3. I'm so nervous. We have 4.1 million dollars. We are so close to just going bankrupt. Okay. Oh. Oh. Yes, a 9. More please. 9, one of the best. 9, great game. 8. Played it for days. Oh, we needed this so badly. Oh, thank God. How much are we going to make from this? Oh, my God. I think I might have just shit my pants. 78,000 sales in the first week. Sly Death Men Inc. has re recently released a sequel to their game Fable 2. The newest game in the series, titled Fable 3, what a surprise, was met with great responses. Critics praised that Fable 3 had a newer engine than the original really driving technical in innovation, okay? Look at how many sales we're getting. Alright, we already got one million dollars more than we started off with. In two months the gambling will be taken off the market. But, dip in sales right there, so we're gonna have to do some contract work possibly. If we can do any of these. I don't want to risk it. I've been playing Fable 3 and I've tremendously enjoyed the experience. This game does not, doesn't just tell a story, no, it manages to draw you in so that you truly feel part of an adventure. To Sly Death Men Inc, keep the it's coming please, Christopher Rignall eGaming check. Okay, thank you Christopher. Alright, so, quickly we're gonna make another new game. Uh, mature, topic, it's gonna be... Hmm going to be a military yeah military strategy game just so we can make a few quick bucks Slimatic 5.0 all right a military strategy game uh, let's call it rolling thunder perfect next 3d graphics v3 start development stories and quests we need none of this. We do not need any of those. Uh, sure, why not? Let's put that in there. Gameplay through the roof. Engine, okay. 
Generating a little bit of hype. Let's market this ourselves. 50,000, put it in magazines. AI through the roof. Dialogues, we need none of better dialogues. Dialogue tree. Actually, we'll put better dialogues in there just so we can understand what the hell they're saying. Level design up a little bit. Okay. Today, the new game platform PPS by Voni has been released. Okay. I am an employee of the Environmental Protection Agency and have an offer for you. Your company has a high electrical footprint right now. If you would install solar panels, you can decrease the footprint of your and save money in the long run. We would sponsor 50% of the cost, which brings your investment to $200,000. Would you like to install? Uh, yes, please, because our month, our yeah, our monthly bills are way too high. Let's install those. Great, it was a wise decision installing a solar collector. Smiley face. So, that all the way up. Graphics and sound. Uh, we need to put graphics up a little bit higher because 3D graphics v3, I mean, that's fucking fantastic. Okay. Dev stage 3. Gameling is no longer supported. Fable 3 is now off the market. Yes, that's a number I like to see. It sold 292,924 units, generating $2 million in sales. Beautiful. Music to my ears. Alright, iron out those few bugs. Didn't break any records, I don't think. Maybe in technology. Uh, Slide Death Man Inc. has recently installed solar panels in their offices. While the video game and software industries are one of the cleanest industries on Earth, they do eat up a lot of electricity, so installing solar panels can really make an impact. Oh, you made a bug there. Alright, finish that up. I think we have a new technology record. Yes, we do. Any levels up? Phil Robertson is now level 6. Perfect. Luckily, Phil. We don't have to pay more money for him. And our monthly bill did go down slightly. The first reviews for Rolling Thunder came in. And not so good. Not so good. Got a 6. Quirky, but good. 7. It's an overall good game. 7, it was enjoyable. And 5, it was fun at stages. Alright, I didn't even expect it to get 7s, but honestly, we just need the quick cash right now. So, strong audience are young, uh, we could have made a young game. But, we're making some money off this. Are we gonna break 6 million? Hopefully we will. Yes, we did. Alright, I think it'll be a great place to end it here, folks. So, thank you for watching. Make sure to like and favorite if you enjoyed. Subscribe, and I will see you next time. Kick it.